Uh, you saw the clip where Melba was on The View, and it was one of our church days, and we had our hats on. And I remember, Whoopi, if, if you watch The View, Whoopi don't eat a lot of the food. She's real picky. Whoopi's so daggone picky about what she eats. And we always have to tell her, just at least tell a chef that the food is good. She's like, chow, it please. And so when Melba, uh, Whoopi will embarrass you in a minute. When Melba had that food there, Whoopi could not stop moving and grooving. She was so happy. We tore that food up after we said, take a little time to enjoy the view. It was so good. Elizabeth Hasselbeck is got celiac, and she was tearing it up. We, <laughs> that food was just so you know. Sometimes you think it's scripted when somebody comes on, but when Melba came on, it was so, we couldn't stop dancing. Oh. Um, this was a very personal, you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression, right? You guys know what I'm talking about? Right. So this was my coming out in an area that I hadn't had any experience in. So when I was looking for a photographer, we interviewed probably about 20, 30 photographers, something like that. And I loved Melissa's work. Um, Melissa was not professionally trained in photography. And her pictures spoke to you. I got, a, I got a text the other day that said, I wish I could eat the pages. Um, and that's what I like. Because she wasn't professionally trained, she didn't have any boundaries. You know what I'm saying? She didn't know the limits. She pushed the edges. And I, I saw a picture of hers that had a burger on it. And I kid you not, I bit into the darn page. To Melba's on a Tuesday night, that is the night to go, and you are not too old. Yeah, I was there last two. There was an older man. He was singing My Girl to His Wife. He was doing something that looked like a salsa plus hip hop. He, it was, he was jamming. I, it, it's, that's what I love. It's young, old, it, it, different ethnicities. What, why is your restaurant so, so diverse? Everybody comes there. What do you think that is? I think because when you talk about comfort, comfort is diverse, right? Comfort is something that's extremely diverse. But Sherry, I want you to tell a story about when you came to the restaurant one Tuesday night. You have to tell this I came on a quick Tuesday little night. story. This is the first time I had ever come on a Tuesday night. I was hosting the newlywed game, and after I finished the newlywed game, I was so hungry, and I had the driver stop at Melba's. And I walked in, because I still had my, my stuff on, and the DJ said, oh my God, oh my gosh, she's in the house. You know, he's, he's so welcoming. And he said, she is here. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, she recognizes me. <laughs> And he said, she is here, give it up. And I stood up and started waving. He said, give it up for Star Joe. <laughs> oh, God, she, all you heard was Melba going, that's Sherry Shocker. <laughs> but I got free food. <laughs> that kind of does it for me. Different people get turned down by different things. I get turned down by seeing our guests leave with a uh, happy face and um, a smile on their face, a, a clean plate and a smile on their face. But I just want to say that I could not have done Melba's American Comfort without these ladies sitting here on the stage.